Now, this is the angle plate I'm going to use. Because I've got to have some way of holding this at 90 degrees. So this is the angle plate that I'm going to use. I'm just giving it a, a quick lap to make sure it's got no burrs on it. down like that so that the uh, face that I'm going to use is uh, the faces that I'm going to use aren't touching anything. These, this is, this is a more on right. And this is a little more on right. I don't know how accurate these are, as in, they're in the workshop and they're getting knocked around. So what I'm just doing is there's a, there's a window that you can't see, and I'm just looking for light between those and... sufficiently close for what I want. So now what I'm going to do, that'll wipe this will wipe again. And that looks there's a tiny, yeah, that looks, that looks pretty much the same. Let's get it in the shot. There's a tiny little bit of light came through here, which is the same as what I saw when it was up against this one. So, when I put this one up against the face, can't quite see that because what I've got the angle wrong for you guys to see it. So what I'm doing is I'm setting this up and what I'm doing is I'm checking this square against that square because there's no point, because I haven't checked these, there's no point actually going and um, grinding it if this is trying to get square if this is kicked like this or like that. So what I know now is that Yes, no. What I know now is that these two are so close that I can't visibly see the difference. I haven't got any way of checking them closer at the moment, so uh, that's all I can do. So what we'll do is we'll set this up. What I'm going to do with these is I'm going to grind them. Um, and once we've ground them, then we'll... Uh, uh, we'll come back and we'll check them again. Doggy move. <laughs> I can't get to the camera. <laughs> now, before I start grinding these, I'm actually curious as to how hard they are. What I could do is I could get out a file and give them a rub with a file. But I thought I'd show you these. These are actually hardness files. And hopefully you can see that. If this files it, it is sick, softer than 65, 65 Rockwell softer. And so what you do is you give it a rub. It rubs that, it rubs that, rubs that. It's all, it cuts that. And the fact that I'm marking this up doesn't matter. And what you do is you start with the hardest one which I know for a while it wasn't going to be 65, it's just, uh, that's the procedure. And you work your way down, I'm going to, I'll go to 55. I think these will be, 55 cuts that, 55 cuts that, it cuts that, so we're going to make another jump. By rights, you're meant to go down one step at a time. This one here is, 
don't know if you can read that, it's a bit hard to see. This one's 50. 50 cuts that quite well. Cuts that quite easily. Cuts that quite easily. Now I'm expecting these to be soft. But 45. 45 marks that up. Marks that up. And gets into that quite easily. And this last one here is this is 40 Rockwell. And 40 Rockwell, it's uh, I'll turn that around. 40 Rockwell's cutting these, so these are pretty soft, which is what you'd expect. They're cast on, they're all cast on. I've got a tiny little metal splinter on my finger that I can feel but I can't see. Um, they're all cast on but they're not hard and cast on. So what we know is we can actually run a pretty hard stone um, but it, this is more about actually showing you these things. These are cheap. You, know, it's like, you can go and buy hardness testers, you can get a file and you can rub stuff with a file. Um, Hardness testers are expensive. These, well, I think they cost me, I think they're about $25 or $30 off eBay. Um, that's Australian dollars off eBay. So at that sort of price, they give you an approximate number. Um, you got a bit of a guideline to work with. And I've actually used them a few times, particularly when I'm doing um, cutting blades. Now when I'm looking at stuff like this, um, this one's actually got a crack in it. It's cracked through here. Uh, so we can't put it back on the machine. But um, particularly when you're doing this sort of stuff and you're trying to work out where, you know, what, what hardness it's treated to when you're trying to order new ones and, uh, or make ones or whatever. Uh, the hardest thing about making these is actually buying the material in Australia to make them from. Uh, that, that's really your biggest challenge but uh, yeah then you know what hardness you need to heat, what material you want because you can work out what you need to heat treat them to uh, and while it's not exactly accurate what it does do is it gives you a ballpark to work with so there's no point buying something that you can't harden to 55 Rockwell if this tests you know, it's between 45 and 50, if this test between 50 and 55 Rockwell, or between 55 and 60 Rockwell, there's no point buying a material that you can't harden and temper to that level of hardness. There's no point putting something that you can only get to 40 Rockwell and you still have some durability and impact resistance out of it. I've seen these where they've, because well, these come at this is out of a vegetable processor, I've seen these where they've put garden hoses into them, they've chopped, up, they've chopped garden hoses, and that takes big chunks out of them. We'll turn you off now, we'll go and do a setup on the machine. So I'm just about ready to dress this stone off. What I've done is I've come down till it just touches the wheel. Now this stone here is on, it's never been used before, on an arbor that's never been used before. So, uh, what we're gonna do is I'm looking up here, I'm going to come down four hundredths of a millimetre. Come back. And we'll go down another four hundredths and I go six hundredths so I'm be a bit greedy Now 
this stone's pretty hard. It's actually a bench grinder scoop stone. And I can get away with that. Let's go. I can see it tracking across the wheel. It's actually sounding not too bad. Norton stone made in China. Uh, this one's 46 grit, so that'll be good enough for what we want. Okay, we'll turn you off and we'll be back.